You know what, I decided, screw it, I am going to continue the video. Uh, so I did repair my ship at the other station. This is the place where I'm supposed to drop the illegal cargo. Foster vision. The ship does sound like a washing machine, but hey, what can you do? Landing gear deployed. So I'm going to cash in these illegal cargo shipment in. And we'll look for more emissions. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Alright. Always remember to refuel in these small ships. Let's cash this in. Deliver cargo. Yay. So that right there was worth the price of this ship with nothing in it. So that's pretty good. Tells you what it does, etc, etc. Oh look, I had to deliver this too. The only thing I didn't get was this uh, shipment of machinery. So let's see if we can get a little work on the side. T stolen in HIP 782. You know what, we're going to chill out in here, so we're going to grab it just in case we come across it. And what about this? Ancient artifact going out in the middle of nowhere, no. Sixty three thousand. Holy yeah, we want this. That's an easy one. And again, just grabbing them. Is this one in here too? Yeah, this isn't also here. So we are good to go. Lots of pirate stuff going on. So we're just gonna literally launch and see what see what comes out. So I've got all these missions here. Pirates, bounty hunters, and a bunch of loot. So basically any signal source we see has high odds. Man, I can't see anything without the lights. Has high odds of being a mission that we need, so away we go. Landing gear retracted. There's a lot of reason there's a lot of extraction sites here. You know what? If we already know there's lots of pirates anywhere, it's gonna be here. Friendship drive charging. That's weird, that gas giant looks purple. Four, three, you can see the rings were two, edge on to the rings. One, you see them going diagonally. That is the weirdest looking planet I've ever seen rings around. That is really weird. There's a ship coming out of it. Oh, I just went down into the... There's a wake. Still want to be locked onto that regular in... Low intensity. I don't know. Resource extraction sites I'm used to. Maybe we should go to low. Yeah, let's go check this one out. See what's what. You know, I don't think that's a planet. I don't think that's a planet at all. I think that's a star. Yeah, that's what they look like. Like a brown dwarf. Or a Y class. Yeah, that's a, that's a star. Wow, this is going to be uh, hot mining down in here. Uh, I got too close. I'm amazed to show you this. So I'm too close to a star. You want to boost out, but you don't want to heat up. It's going to be difficult because the inner ring where I'm going is right close to where I need to be. Frameship drive charging. Luckily this isn't a very hot star, like a white, uh, white dwarf or something like that. It would burn me up. Escape vector. Oh, I am burning up now. Four. Three. Two, oh, I'm one, taking damage. That's lovely. Hmm, my cockpit's on fire again. Warning, taking heat damage. What the hell? 
I literally don't know. I mean, I know it's close to a star and everything. Hmm. There's another star over there. Well, I don't know how this is going to work. How are we supposed to go to this resource extraction site if it's this close to the sun? There's only one way to find out. Oh, I went right past it, damn it. Okay, maybe it's not as close as I thought. Heat is building up. I don't know how this is a resource extraction site if I'm building up heat. Maybe it's cooler in these rocks? I don't know. Yeah, it is cooler in the rocks. I see my heat's coming down. Wow, is that ever weird? thing we are going to have to watch out for here is the ship. It's a transporter, so... It's turrets could probably kill me, but it's not a pirate. The one thing I have to watch out for is that this thing is very, very fragile, so any of these rocks I hit, if I don't have full shields, I'm probably going to eat it. For a resource extraction site, I don't see very many ships. Here's another ship. What do we got here? An eagle. This is probably a pirate. It is. It's a mission target. Start the K-scan now. He's deploying hard points. Uh, this is going to be good. See what he does. Empty your hold. Um, how about no? Alright, so one eagle on one eagle. This should be a bit better. Powered weapons. My shields are almost down already. Target shields offline. Nice. Now, the one thing about this ship is that, unlike the Sidewinder, where the two lasers were, ab were above the like middle of the ship. As you can see, only the top laser is hitting here. But if I bring now, I've got the bo the I've got two of them are in the bottom. So you, in this case, uh, that was five thousand. Heat is an issue here though, because I am still close to a sun. But there we go. Now we check and see if that counted, and it should have. Why didn't it count? There we go, HIP 7082. So that's one of two. Again, we've got lots. Here's some cop ships. Maybe not. I'm just allied with them. Internal security, yeah. So this other guy's probably a bounty hunter. So that one mission where I have to kill bounty hunters, I'd want to kill them, but they're green, so I don't know if I want to do that. However, a viper. This I don't know if I can take on. He is wanted, which means he is a pirate or a bounty hunter. Now there's some fighting. It's an Imperial Clipper. If you know what anything, if we get a piece of this, get lots of money. And it is a mission target. Let's get most of it. Target shield is offline. Give a K scan. Now this is another large ship that we if it looks at us sideways, we're dead. But we're letting the cops do most of the work, so why don't we get some money out of this guy? So this thing is more nimble, which means I can stay hopefully out of its out of its firing arcs. There we go, I want to be behind it. Not above it like this, but uh, let's get below it. He's coming on me now. Come on, cops. Do your jobs. Man, everybody's horning in on this guy now. Morning. I do have to watch my heat. So 
I'll lay off the shooting. Little bursts, which is why I call it burst Friendship laser. No, he's trying to run away. Can't let that happen. Come on, we have to get him before he jumps. Warning, taking heat damage. I don't care now. I want him to go. Try to stay close, prevent him from jumping. Got him. He's down. So much money we get. Shields came on. 68,000 credits. Uh, these fires are a little disconcerting. Heat's coming back down. That was worth all, any damage that I'll take, though. That was definitely worth it. Alright. Now that was kick-ass. You know what? That was good enough. Now we know what we're doing here with killing pirates. Maybe we'll take out another one. What's this? Oh yeah, this old viper. Let's take this guy out. He's wanted and he's flying with the cops. This guy's taking some butt shots. Who's this? Cops. I want to know is why are the cop? Okay. If they're going to fire at him, I will too. Let's get closer here. I'm going to let them do most of the heavy lifting, i.e. taking out the shields. My scanner's now operating. Getting extra money. To if he's wanted, he's wanted, right? Scan complete. You know what? Maybe leaving just the top laser to shoot will be good for heat management. Let's get all three in. There we go. At least this thing is as nimble as a viper. Gotta be honest, I've never fought this close to a sun before, where heat is a big deal. 72. Okay, he's going down. Heat's at 98 though, so I'll just go with the top turret. Nailing him. Let's get the third one in there. There we go. All three. Don't want to hit the cop ship. Warning. Taking heat damage. Okay. Destroyed. Somebody's actually scanning me again? What the hell? You know what it is? The burst lasers are t doing a lot, a lot, a lot of heat. I'm not in Grebegus. I'm not in Grebegus. Yeah, so I've basically I've done all the missions I can do here, so let's just go cash that in. Which is... 110,000 bounty. This is very lucrative right here. So I think it was this one here. Ah, damn it. Or do they now move it down here? I can't remember where I... How do I cash this in? Weird. That's the one. So I gotta go to Thomas Orbital. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm just uh, really pumped that I made all that money. I probably made just now all the money that I've spent even kidding out this ship. Which is a couple hundred thousand for the uh, gimbaled burst lasers, but as you can see that was worth it right there. So we have to go to Gregobus. Frameshift drive charging. Lock and engage. Take this fighter home. Ah, heat damage. Yep, don't fight near a sun. Four, three, two, 
There really should be a fire extinguisher in this ship. That's all I can say. Warning, taking heat damage. Of course, it doesn't subside while I'm in uh, hyperspace. That'd be too cool. And I land next to another sun. Not a good idea. Warning, taking heat damage. Station was at Tom's Orbital. Not too far. I like this system. Stuff is nearby. Look at that. It's right there. I do not want to accidentally die and lose all those credits and the mission. Yeah, we definitely want to. Definitely want. Again, you could do the little. the uh, signal sources. But if it's pirates, we already know where all the pirates are. They're usually trying to horn in on the uh, lucrative kill the miners business. So those resource sites are grand for that. And as we can see, what the hell? I oh, may as well uh, submit to this and see what this guy wants. Oh, it's a mission target. Uh, remember what I said about not wanting to gamble it? Screw it, we're gambling it. He's mostly harmless in a Viper. I should be able to take him out. Do his cave warrant scan on him. Let's see if he makes first move. No, he's running away wisely. Scan complete. So now, <clears throat> one thing to note about Vipers is they have... Um, we have three small weapons on this ship. That thing has two small, but two mediums. So this Viper that I'm shooting at right now is the next, if you want to think about tiers, this is the next, this would be the tier 1 combat ship I'm in right now, the Eagle, this is, the Viper is a tier 2. So that's the combat specialist. I think it's worth about, a, I think it's about 100,000 to get normally. I'm already into his hull. Yeah, this guy's doomed. Again, if you look to the left, it says mostly harmless, that's his skill. If that had said elite or something, he'd be way better, be doing way more maneuvers, probably have better weapons. Now we're just popping into him now. He's boosting away. I can boost too. Although in this thing, I don't want to accidentally ram him. With the 17,000 credits, thanks for coming out. Alright. Should be good. good money, good money, good money. Four, three, In fact, two, I think we might be able to, for one, the next video, just engage. go straight to the Viper, which is the next combat ship. I mean, the amount of money we just made. Maybe we'll do that. Nah, we'll probably do another one in, uh, the, in the Eagle. But definitely. Good cash, good cash. There's a player right next to me. Yeah, this is probably not good. It's not following me, so that, that is very good. Alright, let's disengage. Checking to make sure I don't have illicit cargo this time. I don't. I'm going to go straight in the front door. Which is right here. You can see the antennas. Right there on my pointer. So we already know we're on the right track here. Oh, let's put some more power to engines so we can boost Flight twice. Assist off. Flight assist on. Landing gear deployed. Oops. Overshot landing bay 27. It's on my compass. Thank God. There it is. This is a two-parter. It's a bit long, but you know what? In the end, perseverance. I probably would have called it quits if I had lost the ship from that when I was down to seven percent. But you know, I don't. It only cost me a couple thousand to repair, so very, very good. Now let's cash these babies in. 
Uh, usually starport services lets me access it by now. There we go. Just slow. Oof. That was still worth it. Refuel. Yep. Bolton board. We did wipe out the pirate ship. So we get an extra 56,000 on top of the killing the pirates thing. But let's go cash in here. Oh, look at that. 128,000. I'll take that. To duty combat bonds. Black market. We have no illegal goods. Uh, power contacts. This is for power play. Um, I initially came here to Grebegus just to test uh, the Aisling media materials. I, again, still don't know how it works. There's a bunch of information here. These CC merits, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. All I know is that I do have um, enemy factions chasing me down. So, you know, it started off today with about 2.1 million. So we made 300,000. So, let's see what we can get for next time. So that ship we started in. This is the ship we're in now. This is the Tier 1 transport ship. So this is just transport, although it does have a gun. Well, it has room for a gun. I don't know if you'd ever put a gun on there. Uh, the Adder. This is an interesting ship. So it has two small hard points and a medium. So this is basically the loadout. Slightly better, but that's the loadout of an eagle. And it has the internal bays of a hauler for 87,000 credits. So this is the next tier for the Jack of All Trades ships. I've had one of these before. It's really, really, really good. Cobra Mark III, that's the tier above. That's the, It would be tier 3 Jack of All Trades ship, if you want to think of it that way. This thing has the same weapons loadout as the Viper, so two mediums and two um, small hard points, but has a ton of internal hard um, internal room as well, so you can put cargo on it galore. Let's see what else they got for sale. Type 6, this is the... It's a million, but this is getting into the uh, the big leagues in terms of straight cargo ships. This is just pure cargo. And the regular loadout is pretty crappy. These can all be 32s, 32s, 16, 16. So you can carry, I think it's 96 tons in this thing. So we'll do trading another time, perhaps. But this is pretty lucrative. So that is that. We made a ton of money, and we will... Let's, what are we going to do next time? Maybe we'll do some just straight trading just to see how it all works. A lot of people just do regular trading. I do trading with missions now that we've done the missions. I mean, look, like now we can do these little smuggling missions. You'll note, too, now that I've cashed in that those big missions, the available missions, there's way more available ones now because my faction with United Greberus has gone up. And if you ever want to see your faction, I'm not sure where that is. That's down here. So this is my faction here. So there is a drug empire. Um, usually I'm wor I would want to work for these guys. I wonder why my faction is going, or the their status is going down and that's when the drug cartels are going up. Oh well, I'm not big into the, you know, RPing, oh I'm part of these guys, but if I was going to RP something, I don't know if it would be drug dealers. Who knows. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time.